And now find a comfortable way to sit, lay down, stand, however you can stay for the next 40 minutes or so. Make yourself as comfortable as you can be. Allowing your forehead to be higher than your chin, than your heart. So allowing there to be a gentle incline in your upper body if you're laying down using pillows. And use this time to get up and get what you need to find, make yourself comfortable. And then begin to allow your senses to be open just so that you can be aware of everything that you're experiencing during this meditation. Allowing your sense of taste to be open, your sense of hearing, noticing the sounds around you, maybe sounds outside, sounds in your own home, wherever you are. Noticing the smells, perhaps there's food cooking and you can still smell it or you have a candle or air freshener that has a scent. Notice what you're seeing, even if your eyes are closed, you might see shapes or colors. And then lastly, noticing your sense of touch, feeling that your body is completely supported by whatever surface it's resting on, whatever parts of the body are touching that surface. Just notice that sensation. Notice the sensation of your clothing, the air. Just really allowing yourself to be aware of everything you're experiencing. And then begin to think about your own life's mission. That's a big one. What makes you tick? What gives you you and your life meaning and purpose? And it could be something that you're working on just for this week, a long range goal. What do you see for yourself in life? It's good to have it be specific, but it could be general. I, I often have a mission. I do like helping people, even if it's just giving directions, picking up something that dropped. If somebody has a bad back, you know, whatever little thing I can do to help somebody else. Doesn't have to be big. Teaching this class helps, helps me towards my mission. I hope it's helpful. But if I were to have an injury, which happens sometimes, maybe my purpose for that short time is to heal, to get better, to be free of pain. So you might have a mission that's temporary that will get you through and let you get on with your true life's purpose. So pick something that you wish to work on this evening. And as you bring your mission to mind, just allow all of your senses to be used. So if your mission were accomplished, what would you taste, hear, smell, <clears throat> see, feel? What would your senses be experiencing? And let it be felt in your body. So as you think about your mission, allow, use the present tense. 
For example, if there is an injury or some pain, you can say, I can do what I need in life without pain, or I am whole and healthy. Or in the case of wishing to help people, I am a compassionate and kind person. And as you think about your own mission, express it as an accomplished fact. I am a kind and compassionate and helpful person. And then think about something that you wish to focus on for this one meditation we're doing tonight, your intention. Your intention may be to to rest, to get some sleep, and you might fall asleep during meditation. Don't think that you're doing it wrong if that happens. It's a natural part of this meditation. But maybe it's to stay alert. Maybe it's to be focused. Maybe it's to work on a specific issue in your life, to relax. Just take a moment to find your intention for today. And then take a moment to bring to mind your own inner resource. And if you've been coming regularly, you know what that is. But for those who are new, this is something that provides you with a sense of ease and peace and security. Some time in your life, a place that you have visited, place in a family home, that when you bring it to mind, feelings of just ease and um, safety wash over you. It's your safe space, your, your safe thought. It could be a person, your best friend, it could be a animal, it could be a pet, it could be a room in a building, it could be a, your childhood bedroom as one example. It could be a place in nature, by a beautiful lake, in a forest, high on a mountaintop, by the beach, whatever brings you that sense of ease, peace, security, comfort. And again, as you bring this to mind, use all of those senses that we just awakened taste and hearing and smell and sight and touch. And this will be your own special tool to use during this meditation. Whenever you feel uncomfortable, if something happens, if something, a thought comes to you that makes you feel uncomfortable, makes you want to escape, just come back to your inner resource. And then come join us when you're ready. So we're going to go through all the body parts and we'll tense and release and just allow ourselves to experience each and every part. And we're going to start in the mouth. This time, Rather than experiencing the taste in your mouth, I want you to experience the sensations in the mouth. Open your mouth real wide. Nobody can see you. Stick out your tongue. Open your eyes wide. Your whole face. Bring tension into the face. Why am I asking you to bring tension? Because we're going to relax it afterwards. So mouth is wide. Jaw stretched. Eyes are open. Ears are, are stretched back forehead, maybe the eyebrows are lifted, your tongue is sticking out, really make everything, everything tense, tight as possible. And even hold your breath. 
And then when you're ready, let it go. Release the breath, release the tension in your jaw, release the tongue, give your face a little wiggle. I call it a face flubber. Just let it, let go of the tension in your face. And then allow yourself to experience the sensations that remain. And now begin to tighten your neck and your shoulders, maybe lifting your, your shoulders up by your ears, tension, tense that neck, bring it into the neck and shoulders, letting the mouth and face and head be all relaxed, but there's tension in your neck and shoulders. Really squeeze those shoulders up, really squeeze, hold it, feeling that tension. And then when you're ready, release the tension in the shoulders, give the shoulders a little wiggle, let them rest, let them be supported by whatever surface you're resting on. And then notice the sensations in the neck and the shoulders. The mouth and the face are relaxed, the neck and the shoulders are relaxed. And now begin to notice the sensations in the left palm and the fingers and slowly curl those fingers into the palm, squeezing your hand into a fist and then bringing tension into the wrist, into the forearm. This is the left arm, the elbow, bicep, the tricep all the way up the left arm, squeezing the tension in the left arm, really holding that, squeezing that, feeling that tension all the while the mouth and the shoulders, the face totally relaxed. And then when you're ready, let go of the tension in the left arm, hand and fingers, give it a little shake. And then let that left arm and hand rest on whatever surface it's supporting, supports it. Notice the sensations in the left arm. And comparing the sensations in the left arm with the sensations in the right arm. And now slowly curl the fingers of the right hand into the palm, bringing tension, making a fist, bringing tension into that right hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, bicep, tricep, that left arm is completely at ease, but the right arm and hand and fingers completely in tension, really hold that tension, squeezing that bicep, hold it, hold it. And when you're ready, let go of the tension in the right arm and hand, give it a little shake, a little wiggle gently, and then let it rest, rest on the surface that's supporting it and notice the sensations in the right arm and hand. And now sense both arms and hands completely at ease, the neck and the shoulders completely at ease, the mouth, eyes, ears, face, scalp completely at ease, and yet full of sensation. And then begin to bring tension into the torso, starting in the upper, the upper chest, the middle, the belly, the low belly, the pelvis, begin to tighten the pelvic muscles the, all the sphincters, the abdominal muscles, and then moving to the back, the, the sacrum, the low back, the mid back, the upper back, that whole torso intense and squeezing everything together in the torso, squeezing the buttocks tight, holding that tension. Meanwhile, the arms and the hands and the head and face, neck and shoulders are released, but that torso is fully in tension, holding that tension, holding it. And when you're ready, 
releasing the muscles, release the tension in the torso. Maybe give it a little bit of wiggle, a little shake, and let it rest. Let it be supported by whatever surface you're resting on. And notice the sensations in the torso. And now begin to notice the toes and the feet, curling those toes up and flexing the feet back and bringing tension into the calf muscle, the knee, the hamstring, the quadricep, that upper thigh. Feel that whole left leg in tension, squeezing, holding tension, the whole left leg in tension, the arms, the torso, the face, the neck, the shoulders are all really at ease, but that left leg and foot and toes is completely tense, holding the tension in that left leg. And then when you're ready, release all of the tension in the left leg, let it rest onto the surface that it supports it, give it a little wiggle, a little shake and let it rest. Notice the sensations in the left leg. And if you did cramp up or anything happened that you're left with, just do what you need to do to make it go away. Just notice the sensations in the face, the neck and shoulders, the arms and hands, the torso, and that left leg completely at ease, full of sensation. And now bring your awareness to the right leg and foot and toes and begin to squeeze in the toes, the foot, the calf, the shin, the knee, the hamstring, the quadricep, that whole thigh, knee, lower leg, foot, totally in tension, holding that tension, squeezing the tension on the right leg, the mouth, the eyes, the neck, the shoulders, the torso, the right and left arms, the left leg completely at ease, and that right leg is in tension, holding that tension, squeezing it, and then when you're ready, release the tension in the right leg. Give it a little wiggle, a little shake, and let it rest, whatever surface supports it. And notice the sensations that are now in that right leg and foot and toes. Sensing both legs completely at ease, full of sensation, the mouth, the face, the ears, the shoulders, the arms, the torso, completely at ease, full of sensation. Now bring your awareness to the body breathing. Being aware of the breath as it flows in through the nostrils, noticing the path up through the nose, down the back of the throat. Notice the movement in the body as the air flows in. Notice the movement of the body as the air flows out. No need, need to force anything, no need to make it move more than it naturally does. Just notice, notice what happens. You know how to breathe. Breathing in your natural way. Letting the body breathe as it always does.
And we'll just do a gentle counting of the breath, a different type of counting. We're just going to count to five or, and we'll count backwards. So we're going to inhale through the nose, noticing what moves as you inhale. And we'll say the number five silently to ourselves. And then as we exhale, naturally noticing what moves, say the number five to ourselves. And then we inhale again, rim of the nostrils, back of the throat, into the lungs, four, exhale, air flowing reverse direction out through the nose, four. And continue that counting from five to one, just like that. And if you happen to lose count, just begin again at five. And now let go of the counting, even if you have not reached one, and just notice the sensations in the body. Sensations in the mouth, the face, the scalp, the neck and shoulders, arms and hands, torso, pelvis, legs, feet, toes awake and alert and the body is a field of radiant sensation now bring your awareness to global feelings you have in the body and these are feelings such as feeling warmth or feeling cool or feeling tight or loose feeling comfort or even discomfort. Just a general feeling in the body. Just allow your awareness to be aware of what you're feeling right now, what your body is, the whole body, every part of you, sharp or dull. And if there is a sensation of discomfort, just notice, go into that discomfort, really find the, where it begins, find the center of that discomfort. And where does it end? Find the boundary of that discomfort, the outer edge. Maybe give it a, a face and, and a name. Hi, Joe. Oh, you're the usual discomfort, I feel. Welcome. Good evening to you. Where are you? And if that discomfort is in one part of the body, go to another part of the body that doesn't have that discomfort. Find the parts... And if there is, and if your feeling is not discomfort, just find the opposite of whatever you're feeling. So if you're feeling warm, find coolness. And now allow both feelings to come into your awareness at the same time without thinking. Just notice how it affects your body and mind.
And now find an emotion. So this is an emotion that you're working on in your life, maybe an emotion that you either have difficulty feeling or often feel or want to feel, something you're working on or you'd like to work on. And if there is no emotion you're working on right now, just find a memory that will allow you to find a particular emotion that perhaps you had in the past and can revisit now. An emotion such as love, hate, anger, sadness, jealousy, And as you bring this emotion into your awareness, notice if, if and where there are sensations in the body, emotions as sensations in the body. Maybe if it's love, you might feel a warmth in your chest, a glow. If it's Anger, you might feel a tightness, maybe in the belly or in the chest. Whatever you feel, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but find your own sensation. Where do you feel it? Where do you experience it? Anything else? Other memories, thoughts, images, smells, tastes? And now find the opposite of this emotion. If the opposite emotion were here instead, and it might be helpful to use a memory of a time in your life when you had this opposite emotion. So as you bring this opposite emotion into awareness, notice the sensations that come with it. Where do you experience these sensations? Which part of the body? And what else comes with this opposite emotion? Any memories, images, thoughts, tastes, smells? Go back and forth between these two opposites of emotion. Start back with the first one. Allow yourself to experience it fully and then move to its opposite. Allow yourself to experience it fully. Back to the first opposite. For, and keep doing this several times, your own timing, giving yourself enough time to fully experience each. And now invite both emotions into awareness at the same time without thinking and just experience how doing this affects your entire body and the mind. And now allow yourself to find your inner joy, your sensation of joy, of happiness, a sense of well-being. Just invite that into your body now. Feel your sense of joy. And if 
it's difficult for you to find joy, perhaps it'll be helpful to come back to a time in your life when you did feel joy, when you were happy, joyful, and if not joyful, maybe just even keeled. Oh, everything was okay. You know, not high, not low, just pretty even. A sense of well-being, a sense of ease. And as you do this, imagine this sense of ease and joy and well-being coming from within you, maybe beginning in your heart. It's like your heart was smiling, this little gentle inner smile from the heart, the center of our emotions. And feel joy, feel well-being as a sensation flowing through your body, a sensation of joy. Feel it flowing through the, almost through your circulatory system, down through the torso, into the hips and the legs and the feet, the toes, up through the shoulders, the chest, the arms and hands. Feel this gentle warmth of joy flow up into your neck and shoulders and your head and your face, your eyes, your mouth. Joy is filling every part of you, every muscle, every organ, every cell. Your whole body is smiling from within, radiant from within. That sense of joy, that sense of well-being is coming from within you, not dependent on anything that is happening around you. Joy flows from within. Finding that inner joy, that inner sense of okayness, that sense of being okay just as you are, perfect just as you are. And now be aware of all that is present within your awareness. You are the one who is aware of everything and you are awareness, observing everything. Everything comes to you as awareness, through you as awareness. Be pure awareness itself. Resting as pure awareness, all of the sensations, the emotions come through you as awareness, coming and going, okay, just as they are with you as that pure awareness. Everything okay as it is. You okay just as you are. Now, as you rest here in that sense of being pure awareness, come back to your own inner resource. That tool, that thing that you develop that makes you feel at ease and at peace and secure, and go back and forth between that sense of being pure awareness and your inner resource. Notice your breath, 
easy, gentle, your body resting, belly soft, hands and feet just resting, relaxed with ease. And then come back and bring to mind your own intention for today's practice. Thinking of an intention for the next time you practice. And then allow yourself to recall your own heartfelt mission, your purpose. Experience it as accomplished right now. Mission accomplished. Your desire is fulfilled. Feeling what that experience feels like. All of your senses, sight, sound, taste, smell, touch, And then imagine as you go about your day-to-day -day life, everything changing, sensations, thoughts, emotions, feelings, but you can feel yourself as awareness itself. You're aware of everything, you know everything is changing, and yet you feel just unchanged with the events that happen day-to-day. As we end this practice, if there's nowhere that you need to be, no place you, no one is expecting you, just remain as you are. But if you need to move on with your day, take your time, gently come back into the, the world of day to day, noticing where you are in space, what room you're in, noticing your body, gently, carefully bring a little bit of movement into your extremities, your fingers, your toes, maybe moving your head side to side, just allowing your body to wake up, come fully alert, become wide awake, Be grateful to yourself for taking the time to practice this evening. Knowing that as you continue to practice, you will become more and more attuned with your own deepest wisdom, your own ability to handle whatever comes your way and to respond in the most appropriate way. Namaste.